Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Grace to and welcome back again to another episode of Surviving Your Twenties Through a Gen Z Perspective. Like I said, this is a video or this is a series where me and my friends talk about things that affect us in our twenties and how we navigate through there. So we'll be introducing ourselves right now. My name is Grace. I run a YouTube channel as you guys know. My name is Erin Okafo, I'm a student and I go to the Okafo. My name is Manuel, I own Unravel Fashion. You can check us out at unravel.fashion on IG. Yeah. Hey, my name is Adam Brio, I'm to be a businessman as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can check us out at shop.tobiri and sell footwear. Uh -huh. I just want to be, I do anything, busy, lifestyle, fun, like friendship. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, this is a safe space for us to talk about certain things. So, you guys should feel very free to talk about everything and anything that I'll be asking on like, going forward. and. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more subscribe. of this and like this video and, <laughs> and leave a comment. Thank you very much. So today's um today's topic will be talking about living with your parents, living with your African parents. This that's what it's about. And if you guys know, like there's so much about living with your parents, how my dating African parents can be, or how generous they can be too. So it's like two sides of the coin and everything so basically me and my friends will we'll talk about how we've been coping living with our parents for the short or long time we've been living with them if we intend to move out anytime soon and basically how difficult or how easy it is to move out while staying living in nigeria okay that's that so i'll i'll ask the first question what do you think are the frustrations of living with your parents Personally, like, even my parents is not frustrating at all. Mm -hmm. I have the best friend in the world. Shout out to you, mommy and dad. <laughs> but if anything, I feel like personal space, because my family is very like <coughs> into, I really into each other. So mm -hmm. I don't get as much personal space as if I get to school or personal time. Just time in the world is very hard. So, like, if I was ever going to leave the house, it would be for more personal time. Maybe for like freedom to do things, but obviously they're always monitoring my own women. Yeah, so freedom and personal space. Okay, what about the eyes? For me, first of all, my parents are very strict. I tell you my dad. My mom is like, living with her is okay. If my dad is not around, I can live very like freely at home. But my daddy around is very strict. So that's the frustration I have. Mm -hmm. And his strictness to him is like, it's the way he loves. He's just very interesting, it's the way he loves. But I like to be on my own most of the time. I like to do things at my own time. I like to, I don't like to tell me to do things and how to do things. And that's the kind of person he is. And we are like strong headed people, two of us. So we are always fighting, that kind of thing. That's the frustration. Sir. And the fact that everybody is always calling your name. Like in my house, you cannot stay. They were not looking for anything, they just be like, Onye, where are you? I'll say I'm in my room. Mm -hmm. Are you not dad in the room? They will not say, okay, go back. Like, why did you not call me? What you get? So that's just so frustrating. Yeah, I think living with my parents right now, I think I don't have a problem with anything. Mm -hmm. Because I think at this point, we all have mutual respect for one another. Mm -hmm. So, like, they respect my boundaries, I respect their boundaries, sort of. But like the only thing there is as the first child of the family, you have certain responsibilities. Um, there is a family business that you're supposed to attend to once you are home. Then the whole they are religious kind of people. Mm -hmm. So you have to like fit in to their own kind of lifestyle, like go to church. But I, I think that can handle for the meantime. So yeah. For me Privacy isn't a thing, like, it's not a reason why I, I find in my parents frustrating because if it's privacy, I have more than enough. Nobody enters my room without my permission. Nobody searches my things without my permission. But one thing I find frustrating is that, like, my parents are obsessed to see my face. Like, I always say, 
they, like I don't know, maybe like I said is long, but it can be annoying yeah, yeah, yeah. because like you want to live your life. There are certain things you want to do, and then like you have to get permission from them and blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. And for me, I'm the last. Another thing is that I'm small, so the fact those two things are just is as if it's working against me because my parents think I'm like 13. No, my mom thinks I'm 13, and my dad thinks I'm 10. So, <laughs> so like just imagine that's how they treat me like oh like a child yeah, like in my house now my me and my sister we can't go anywhere except my brothers one of my brothers drops us and brings us back as you say because if the driver is he doesn't even like the driver taking us because he's like that's a stranger you can't be alone with that person so my brother will have to take him away and bring us so before i go anywhere like, Ask them, are somebody ready to speak? Like, why? Listen, they didn't know. When you're not around, then go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. What are like, the good parts of living in your parents? Mm-hmm. Food. I said, <laughs> that's like the best part. Food. But then they still don't cook any food. That's not even good. My aunt cooks once in a while, but then everybody fears for themselves. Well, the cooking is not, it's 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 not, Swag, those are the things that I could just do. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure that's what one of these is a big problem. That's like a big problem. I think for me at home, I have two um, mm-hmm. female siblings. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I think they kind of sheltered me from being the kitchen duties. Mm-hmm. Like, definitely, yeah, once in a while, I do. Well, like then I do cook. No, 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 no. I can actually cook because as in growing up here, yeah, Mom C always emphasized on the fact that she wanted to train an independent man. Like okay. not like when you become a bachelor, then one small girl is coming to cook for you, then kind of you depend on people. So like she made it like made it clear to me that I must learn how to cook. Mm-hmm. So that I know how to do I know how to like make the basic dish for the family, even soup still. So I think I know how to do that, but like once I'm at home and my two sisters are at home, I kind of I kind of withdraw. But like once they're not around, like definitely I take care of my parents. So can you let's just go to the next one? Do you think at first I think my ability? Personally, I think I won't use manipulative. Okay. Just that like you expect a lot. Okay. So I think for somebody that I think pays the amount of school fees they pay, mm-hmm. they buy your clothes, they feed you, they shelter you, kind of like they are your they are providing everything for you, yeah, mm-hmm. and literally not getting anything from anybody outside. So I think it's only fair for them to expect something similar to that. Okay. It might seem tough, but I think if I were to be in their shoes, I would expect the same thing. I feel like if I'm taking from the angle of making decisions, okay. like now for people that say, Oh, I want to study this course, mm-hmm. my parents will be like, ah, they, will, they will trip you. Or my dad, the way he does his own use, he'll say, I advise you. you know? I think <laughs> you should. And you keep telling me what you think until you decide to do it. Okay. Okay. My mom is very dramatic. Her, she will cry because she will like, ah, you're not talking to me. You don't want to do what I asked you to do. Mm-hmm. It's guilt tripping. You're manipulating me, ma. I love you. Yeah, that's how I feel. I know you expect things of me and I will do them, but like everything is my life. That's so us. Like, I can't do everything according to the way you want it to be. Okay? For me, it's like, if you are like solely dependent on your parents, like for everything, there's a way that they go about it. That it's not like they expect just oh, just wash the plate. Mm-hmm. To my dad, that's like your birthright to wash plates. That one is not part mm-hmm. of the things you're expecting from me. So it's not even a discussion. But like decisions that you want to make, like okay, you want to go out, you want to like say you want to study. Okay, well my parents for studying, they might not be need like to study before. Things that they want you to do, like. My mom can be more understanding. She can just be like, oh, please, can you help me do this? Or please, can you do this? I say, oh, I can't. She's not fair yet. But my dad, 
She's like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you say you no? Know, like I do everything, and my mom doesn't work anymore. So like my dad is majorly the one. So he just feels like yeah. I sacrificed my yeah. life for you. Yeah. Like you can't say no to me for anything. So I always have everyone on the same page because when we're not on the same page, yeah. the fight is just so much. And at the end of the day, I end up having to do what he wants me to do. So, I think they they are respectful, especially now that we are much older. They don't really intrude or disturb, like I said earlier. Yeah, just just the just the basic things, and then I feel like these things are things that you should just do, like normal things. Just do them. For me, okay. There is I think being being uh, like eldest child, um, I don't think they have that time to. Be pushing me about. But, so but, most, okay, so most, I most, want to add to yeah. question. You know, your dad is about. You're always talking about your family business. Yeah. Uh, yeah are you interested in going into your family business? Before I wasn't, but well, right now, like at this phase in my life, I think I, I, I'm literally begging him that I want this now. Okay. But prior but to this time, before, before, that before, time, before, was there a way your dad made you feel about you know you not being interested? No, definitely. If you don't follow him, it's going exactly, to you know, that's like it's going to come and be like. Um, I go out, I bust my ass, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you don't want to be associated with this because they think it's below you. Know you. Then you think it's below you, know and you, you okay, I'll go and sell my hand, mm -hmm. but like you don't want to be present there. So, like, over time, like, I just understood where he was coming from, but like, another angle where they will, they will trip you to hell is when it comes to the religious aspect because mm -hmm. I can be very, um, stubborn when it comes to that mm -hmm. like i can be opinionated because like i want to know why i'm doing what i'm doing triggers yeah, okay. and mom c feels like you're not supposed to question god yeah. that kind of thing mm -hmm. so when i'm asking why am i supposed to do this why am i supposed to do that today oh now because you're now in that back box school they're not making you think that <laughs> is it to me too? <laughs> without god you cannot go anywhere <laughs> it's useless that kind of like threat yeah. and that's uh, okay like i did this I did this and he brought me to where I am today. Like, if you leave this path, this damnation for you. How are you swearing for your child? Like, for those things, because, like I don't understand this yet. I will definitely ask questions, but like, you won't preach till you follow them to church, that kind of thing. So, yeah. that's another angle that you can do. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so I was going to say something. Like, um, I was my senior brother, um, we grew up together. Like, and there's a, there's a very, very long gap between us and our uh, university. There's like two different generations of kids. So, me and my brother, like my junior brothers. So, my father literally trained us like soldiers. So, for when we're small, like everything has to be done. My mom still doesn't have to do anything, all that. So, now it's basically normal to us. Like, it's doing basic things. So, it's not, it's not, it's not a big deal to us. I think mine is the opposite because. We're three girls and we grew up like as princesses. Like, she <laughs> don't do anything. She <laughs> 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 don't do anything. And then all of a sudden, my dad just changed to, you have to represent me well in your, in your husband's house. Like, they can't be saying, don't have home training. So I'm like, from when to where? Like, before you're pumping me now, if I can't do something, you're like, is this how you're going to actually get married? And, yeah, I feel like that's also another big thing that irritates me now. Like nowadays, let me say from 2019, that's all I hear. Husband's house. And I mean, I felt I raised a lot because of it. Because if you know me personally, I don't I, I don't associate with that lifestyle. It upsets me. But my dad is always like, you have this attitude. <laughs> you have to stop it. When they chase you back, you won't come back to my house. I won't come back at all. I won't have money because I'll have money. It's not even not fine. But it's very annoying because yeah. if you want me to learn to do something, they let me learn it for me. What am I learning it for? Another person. Yeah. That person should be able to learn things for himself too. Do you understand? Yeah. Right? Is, is moving out a short term goal or long term goal for you? What's the short term? Short term goal is like maybe after uni, you're moving out. Long term goal is maybe when you're about to get married, you're moving out. You know what's the name? What's the name? Money. Money. 
Because that's to me, like mm-hmm. if I'm very money is not just having money. Living alone is very expensive. Yeah. You have to be properly stable, financially stable. And I don't think I can handle this right after graduation. If not, I would love to move out. Even though they will fight with me, I'll fight with them. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Because they'll be like, as a woman, mm-hmm. you're supposed to move from your father's house to your husband's yeah, but, house. But I, I just want to ask, like, why is that a thing? Especially in like Nigerian household. I, I think because by that, yeah, I think the average it it has boils down to like the African mentality. Mm-hmm. Like for a woman, nothing is expected of you. Like yours is just just be beautiful, go to school. You can't say that. No, no, I say like the African <laughs> mentality. I'm not saying like that was No, what do you say nothing is expected? I said it's the African mentality. <laughs> yes, yeah? I know. What they just want you to know how to do is cook. Uh-huh. So that's something that is expected. Cook. <laughs> Mannerism, cleaning, and be able to take bullshit. Like that's yes, the whole yes, African mentality. Yes, exactly. But for the man here, yeah, once you're done with university, what are you looking for in my house? Mm-hmm. Go away. Like you're supposed to have a place of your own. Mm-hmm. Like before 30, you should be comfortable to like welcome and a woman. Person, yeah. Kind of like that was the expected was. Yeah. So like you going out as a man from your parents' house, they see you as growing. Mm-hmm. See, so like it's understandable that okay, yeah, yeah, you're going out. If you are still in the house. They'll see you as irresponsible. Yeah. Like other than that, like, you just like I suppose the female gender where you wanted to move out of your houses, you wanted to sleep around, or like, yeah. or they're scared that you can't really protect yourself, that kind of thing. I think for me, that's a long term goal mm-hmm. because if you reason it, it helps you save a lot of money. True. And it helps you. It's just that long distance relationship with parents is usually the better relationship. Yeah. Do you the get it? Yeah, <laughs> if it's like don't your parents are not always around or they don't stress you as much, it's it's better yeah. honestly for your future in the long term. It's better to just stay at home. And so then if you live in a central place, yeah. you your house honestly, I won't mind. I won't mind. It's just if they reduce stressing me. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. it's getting better. They actually don't stress me. Maybe it's because I'm in school this time. Mm-hmm. So when I come back, it's like ah, she's only with us for three weeks. Let's not bother her. Mm-hmm. Do you get? But if I live in here for long, it can become a problem. Mm-hmm. So yeah. For me, I've never been thought of it. Like, moving oh, out yeah. of my parents' house. Like, yeah, princess house. <laughs> <laughs> because so, yeah. I feel like me, if I leave it doing it, it will help me because I've been around people. I'm dependent. I'm a very, I depend on people. I have three other siblings. I have my parents. I have like a community of people who are willing and ready to do things for me at any given time yes, so <laughs> that's literally how i am so i need to i need to move out to a place where i'm the one doing things by myself for me to be to to learn more about myself and to be more responsible i'll say for me what is holding me back for me to be like because the older I've gotten, I've just learned to appreciate them more. Mm-hmm. So and not being around, <laughs> not being around for like all this time, I just feel like I would definitely want to spend time with them. What are the ways that you appreciate you like with them now? Like what ways are you in and how can like somebody who is having issues with their parents like mm-hmm. this thing? Well, for me, mm-hmm. I always believe in sucking things out. Before I'll be like, oh, I'll just bear it, walk out, slam the door, we'll fight, no, we'll that kind of thing. I don't do that now. I'll just be there when they finish shouting, I'll call them every time and be like, see what you did, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. That Explain to them. So nowadays, we have better communication. Communication is a very, this thing we lack in African homes mm-hmm. because they, there's, there's hierarchy. You can't talk to your elder like this, yes, that kind yeah. of thing. But they have to understand that I'm not fighting with you. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel. You get mm-hmm. so try and gradually talk to your parents, talk to them. Every time you just you get through to them. I've realized that I've come to the understanding that my parents and we children are from like different generations here, yeah? and their mentality about certain things can never change. Yeah. yeah. So I've just adapted. If you are in Rome, behave like the Romans. Like now, the average person that sees me and knows me will think like I'm going outside. Mm-hmm. But like me at home, I can be at home for six months and I won't step out for one day. To prevent Shalai as it just mm-hmm. be who they want to be so, yeah. I feel like um, in time, my parents have understood that my parents just want to just, just want to know mm-hmm. what I'm doing, where are you going. Yeah. But then, the, the, way, the way they treated us when we were much younger, like street, 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 mm-hmm. you're already scared, so 
we just want to be on your own. come back from school, we just want to stay inside. No one goes to school. To be where are you? I'm inside. What do you want? Come and eat. So, no problem. I know what she much. Come. No <laughs> I'm okay. So, my dad was already trying to have like it was. I don't know if it was feature, but we might ask me, Chief, are you going out to the beach? How should I leave for it? Boss, when that one starts. <laughs> <laughs> So, but then like, you actually leave the car like you eat. And then I will go out the car. My mom will not be telling me, don't go anywhere. But then I feel like the time, they, they, now, they can't go back. Mm. But they now try to compensate. I don't know, I, I feel like my parents, like I always say this thing, they don't really like babies. Like, you know what? Like, it's just about knowing your parents. And then, like, just be done with like, all the drama because. Mm. It's tiring, like you finish learning and whatnot. You get just understand them and try and keep peace until mm -hmm. it's time for it to be. I think okay, the song of everything is that parents they don't like us having freedom. Have you ever thought of running away from your house? Uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> uh -uh. I'm going to leave this house for you. Uh -huh. When I carry my box to the gate that day, I'm not your forget. Box. I'm telling you, I said I'm no, leaving. No, this one wasn't about my parents. It was my sister that was going to leave. I said I'm leaving the house. I went to the gate. My mom literally passed me. Like she was <laughs> like, the house. So I was like, bye bye. You. Like, yeah. I was very small. I was yeah, very, I was very stubborn. <laughs> so then I think my my dad he had my time. He was strong. He was younger than child. So if I messed up like this, this guy is coming for me. Like that would beat me. That I was half thinking that this guy is with my parents. But when I when I when I go through the room and I look at the picture and I see my face and I see my mom's face. Then I see my head and I thought that's going to go up. Don't worry, they're up here. The one time I read the letter to them, I don't forgot. I forgot because I dropped in my daddy's wardrobe for him to find it. And then I went to school. I didn't even know I forgot I read the letter. Like, one time had passed and I came back. They now called. Because my house, we do like family meetings in the Like, after prayer, we now talk. After we talk in the So they now told me to stand in the center of the room. They now brought out the letter and said, Oh yeah, read it. I was crying. I was crying. Like, I hate everybody in this house. I hate all the people. So, like, when you hate us, when you read it, so everybody's crying. So, it's just it's just things you do when you're very yeah, sad. Because okay. now I don't know what I want to run to. Yeah, Any advice to people who have like toxic parents? Did you know what I I'll say, no matter what, as much as you want to, like, you have like justification to act out and whatnot, but try to respect them because, like, at the end of the day, they're still your parents. So whatever you're doing, still try to give them some. Like you don't have to go out of your way. Nobody needs to force you from not wanting to bond with them mm -hmm. or maybe not trusting their own. Because you have like parents who are demanding so much of you and they don't want to give you anything. Some some of them don't want to pay your school fees. Like mm -hmm. it can be that bad. Or like just try and give them the respect that you give to any older person. Like and just go because like there's karma. It's like all right, guys. Thank you so much for your honest opinions and everything. Don't forget, if you got to this part of this video and you not subscribe, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this and like this video, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!